All right, guys, we got a quick kayak fishing trip today. Um, I don't have that much time out here, so I'm gonna keep it super simple. I got a frozen squid. This is one of those squids that I caught, you know, a few videos back when I was fishing for halibut. Um, I caught a few extra that I was able to freeze and save for later. So this is the time we're gonna break it out. And all I'm doing is rigging it super simple on a trap rig, two hook rig, however you wanna call it. Treble in the back, single octopus hook up in the front. And we're gonna drop this down, drift around. I mean, I think there's some big fish here. There's like no fishing pressure. And I just have a feeling there's some big fish, like big halibut, 40 inch range, I feel like. But who knows, who knows what we're gonna get. I've said this before, but pretty much everything eats squid. So once we drop this down there, who knows what's gonna pick it up. One of the beauties of saltwater fishing. Could be a lingcod, could be a halibut. Could be a sea bass, could be a thresher shark, who knows? So anyways, we're just gonna start drifting this around. I'm in 30 feet of water right now. We'll probably drift out to like 60-ish feet of water and see what happens. There's a small one on here. that you know what that's actually good all right see this right here this is a little kingfish and it's not what we're fishing for but we're gonna make the most of this and we're actually gonna use this one as bait these are good bait for lingcot lingcot will pretty much eat anything but halibut will also certainly scoop this up if they're hungry and they see it. So I'm gonna drop this down back on the same rig, kind of like a little food chain challenge, a mini food chain challenge. One hook in the nose and one in the back. Cinch that down a little bit. All right, let's get this one back down there. Oh yeah, that's looking good. I got a feeling someone's gonna eat that. This is a link cut. Yeah, I think he's got it. Yeah, he's on there. It's not big, but he's on there. Yep, he is on there. Little guy. Well, was hoping for something a little bit bigger on the kingfish, but that's okay. First game fish on the boat. Guess you can say it gets the skunk off. Uh, healthy little lingcod who really wanted that kingfish, but unfortunately too small to keep, so back he'll go. And that means we're back to the squid. There's a bite, that's a halibut. Get on there. It's gotta be a halibut. Yeah. Got him. I don't know. It's not fighting very much. And what do we have? Oh no. I really thought that was a halibut bite, but. This little guy fooled me. Another little link cod. This is like a carbon copy of the first one, actually. Do not hook me. That barely got him. Another little ling on the squid. If we could get something about twice the size in length, that'd be good, but unfortunately too small. 
All right, well, we're getting something, but we need to get something bigger now. John on air, you still out here? Yeah, we're still here. Got him. Something small. Any more bikes? Okay, screw the squid. Look at this. Kingfish ate a squid that's, I think it's bigger than, yeah, the squid's bigger than the kingfish. He still wanted it. But unfortunately for him, this is gonna be perfect bait. So you saw the earlier one got gobbled up by a little ling cod. This one's a touch bigger. So hopefully the bigger profile bait will attract some bigger fish. All right, there we go. That's the setup right there. Live kingfish. Got it, two hooks in him, so that whatever grabs him gets hooked. It's back down now. Find me a big fish, buddy. All right, whatever grabs him should be big. I saw a shark jump right there, reached completely out of the water. It wasn't a giant one, but it is, I'm pretty sure it's a great white. Probably in the like eight foot range. Well, I know they're out there. I always know they're out here, but seeing one, actually seeing one with my own eyes, whoo, gets the blood going for sure. Well, after seeing that shark breach, I mean, I know I said it's a small one and I know they're always out there, but I don't know, for whatever reason, I just pretty much paddled in. I did, on the way back in, hook into, or I didn't hook, I think I had a hitchhiker link cod um, on one of my live baits that unfortunately let go before I got to see him. So I did have some action and I know there's some fish out there, but I've come back, this is the next day, you know, that was yesterday, and I brought, this right here and what is this this is the newest addition to the diehard fishing camera line so we're gonna throw it up see what's out there maybe we'll see a shark maybe we won't but either way it's gonna be some action footage let's roll it right now
shark on the drone, unfortunately. Couldn't find any out there, but I know for sure they're out there. I mean, I already knew they were out there, but yesterday I saw one with my own eyes. So I'll be back, look for more drone footage coming to the channel very, very soon. Uh, I'm excited to get that thing out there. I can, you know, identify the holes, maybe find some cool stuff, and hey, maybe even spot a fish or two. So anyways, look forward to that. Coming on the channel very, very soon. But until the next video, I appreciate your guys' view. Hope you guys are staying safe. And until the next video, catch you next time.